I'm Amanda Parrisher, Teaching and Learning Coordinator at Springboard Media. Cloud Computing for Educators Explained. You may hear people talking a lot about the cloud. What do they really mean? Well, the cloud is just another word for an internet-based storage service. The way this works is you would upload your content to this internet-based storage service. Then you'd be able to download your content in other computers. You can also upload your content and download your content on other devices, like your tablet or your mobile phone. Accessing your content from anywhere is possible because your content's actually on the web. If you sometimes forget your flash drive or don't want to email stuff to yourself, cloud computing is a great way to be able to access all your content. Once your document's in the cloud, you won't have to remember which computer you created that file. You can access it from any computer. You can easily share files that you need for school from your home computer or files that you need to work on at home from your school computer. The cloud is not a real cloud. According to Wikipedia, the name cloud computing comes from the use of cloud-shaped icons as an abstraction for complex infrastructure in system diagrams. But your data is actually being stored on a computer. Probably not a computer like this, more like a computer like this and you're renting out space in a facility like this made up of many, many, many servers. It's like you're renting out space in this server room for your data. Some examples of cloud computing would be Dropbox or Google Drive. Any cloud-based system gives you a certain amount of storage. That way you can put some folders in there, but not everything that you have on your computer. To utilize your cloud service, on your computer, you would log into a browser or download an application. You would upload your content, and on your device, you would navigate to a specific app to access that content as well. You could also access your content through the browser on another computer. It's easy to share files with other users, either by sending a link or clicking share. Make sure your account is set up with a strong password to protect and encrypt your data and store your password somewhere safe. You wouldn't want to get locked out of your account. If you're ready to begin, try signing up for a Dropbox login. Go to dropbox.com. It's free and easy to get started. You can download a Dropbox folder for your Mac or PC and the Dropbox app for your tablet or smartphone. Now you can access all your files everywhere. Brought to you by Springboard Media. Check out our website for more information about our courses and workshops for teachers. Created using Powtoon.